ओके सो हेलो एवरी वन सो टूडे आई हैव रिसीव दिस मदरबोर्ड फ्रॉम एच पी लैपटॉप सो इट्स मॉडल नंबर इज सॉरी बोर्ड नंबर इज एल ए डैश जी जीरो सेवन डी पी ओके सो दिस इज इन डेड कंडीशन सो वी आर गोइंग टू डायग्नोज दिस मदर बोर्ड सो फर्स्ट स्टेप विल चेक ऑल द कॉइल्स इम्पोर्टेंस विल ग्राउंड वन प्रूफ check whether the ground is successful okay as you can see so first of all this is 3.3 volt coil which is over here as you can see it is giving good impedance this is battery section coil sorry 5 volt coil also good impedance this is battery coil good impedance 1 volt coil i think 1.05 pch power supply is there One volt coil is this one. This may be core, okay, and this may be the JFX, okay, and this may be one point zero five something, okay. All and this is the RAM section, as you can see. All coil impedance is okay. We don't have any kind of issue. I mean short, okay. So next step, let me show you the condition. ओके जस्ट प्लग द एडाप्टर ओके आई हैव प्लग द एडाप्टर सो वी विल ऑन आवर डिस सप्लाई ओके जस्ट ऑन एज यू कैन सी इट्स कंज्यूमिंग जीरो एम पी एस लेट से वी डोंट हैव एडाप्टर एल ई डी सो लेट्स कीप मल्टीमीटर इन वोल्टेज रेंज and check whether win is available or not so this is the primary mosfet let's check this is a positive okay okay we have 19 volts on our this connector after that this is the first mosfet 19 volt available this second mosfet and this is the sens sensor resistor okay on sensor register also we are having voltage so but we have v in section is over okay but we don't have as you can see it's consuming 0 amps and we don't have this 3.3 dc to dc section is not working always section okay so next thing which i have to check we have to check whether ld is available or not in this motherboard first of all whenever this our this uh, this is our 3.3 i may uh, supply ic and if we don't have if we have input to this ic then we will be having ldu as you can see this is the input 19 volt is available on this ic this is uh, ic for 3.3 volt section okay we as soon as this ic gets the vin it should be outputting our ldo which should be 3.3 which is low dropout as you can see so at this point we have to check the ldo and as you can see the ldo is 0 volt so we don't have any ldo 0 okay so next thing which you can see here we have some sort of burning mark on this ic means which is io so we have zero ldo and as you can see it's consuming zero amps again keeping multimeter in buzzer range okay so let me show why it is consuming zero milliamps so this is the ldo output as you can see it's giving beep so if you inject any voltage on this point you are this any ic is going to hit so whenever you get any kind of motherboard like this and its uh, vin section is okay but uh, you don't have 5 volt or 3.3 volt is not generated first of all check the vcc if vcc is okay then check the ldo the ic should emit 3.3 ldo 
and that L LDO voltage is supplied to our this IO and after that IO will generate our this light will be blown by the IO so that's why it is necessary and in this motherboard we have this some sort of burning mark on this IO and this IO is shorted with respect to ground as you can see so in this motherboard we can repair this motherboard only with the thing which you have to do replace this IO and reprogram it and right now I don't have IO also and I don't have programmer also that's why I am going to return this motherboard so this is the solution and this is how you diagnose a motherboard and these are basic steps while diagnosing any motherboard so thank you and subscribe for more videos